These new series have big ideas and even bigger potential. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 new shows of 2017. Max, Jennifer, let's go. <laughs> yep, okay. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on the most entertaining new television shows first released in 2017, which means that Twin Peaks didn't make the cut, as it's not really a brand new series. Number 10, American Vandal. Dylan, why am I interviewing you? Because everyone thinks I did it. On this true crime series, there are major consequences when a student pushes back against faculty. But there's a twist. American Vandal is entirely fiction. From the opening sequence onward, this Netflix program takes a satirical approach, while reminding us that similar events are happening everywhere, without any cameras. Because it was totally Dylan. I mean, someone saw him do it. Like, seriously. Spoiler alert, American Vandal isn't a hard-hitting investigative report, but an examination of societal behavior. If you're looking for something lighter yet still timely, check out this faux documentary, which offers a fresh spin on the true crime genre. Uh, dude, people are all about me right now. Number 9. Glow Can you at least tell me who got the part? Here's another Netflix show riding the wave of 80s nostalgia. Based on a real-life women's wrestling organization, Glow is anchored by the hilarious and charismatic Alison Brie. Through her trials and tribulations, the series addresses identity and gender roles, but doesn't take itself too seriously. Glow also explores personal and professional conflicts with an R-rated comedic edge. You all thought that that was real, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> with its wrestling theme, retro production design, and strong female characters, this show taps into pop culture trends while establishing its own identity as a bingeable series. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Number 8. Feud Friends. You think it's friendship I want from her? Created by the brilliant Ryan Murphy, this FX series explores one of classic Hollywood's greatest feuds. Despite their experience and charm, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford are at a crossroads, and they collaborate together on Whatever Happened to Baby Jane in the hopes of reigniting their careers. I thought you wanted to work with Crawford and me because you respected us, because you wanted our opinions, but clearly you don't. Starring Susan Sarandon and Jessica Lange, Feud sheds light on the actress's state of mind, but it's the larger revelations about good old boy behavior that makes it so timely. Tune in for the personal feud and stay for the industry drama. Why did I need to be conquered? What other way was there? Number 7. Alias Grace No. I won't go back there to the asylum. Directed by Mary Heron, this miniseries is another Margaret Atwood adaptation to come in 2017, after Hulu's The Handmaid's Tale. Set in Victorian Toronto, Sarah Gadden stars as an Irish immigrant who may or may not be a complete psychopath. With its central character's performance and an emphasis on real-life horror, Alias Grace is an under-the-radar late 2017 hit, a series that addresses timely themes with a psychological thriller feel. While it does require some patience, it's a Netflix original that succeeds because of its pacing and immaculate direction. You're all the same. You won't listen. You don't believe me. You won't hear. Number 6. Big Mouth the uterus. I thought girls had vaginas. To be clear, this animated Netflix series is for mature subscribers only. Voiced by a number of big-name comedians, Big Mouth explores adolescent sexuality with a no-holds-barred approach. Anything goes for this unique character study, and that is a major part of its appeal. I've never danced with a boy before. What am I supposed to say? I don't know. <laughs> that, that was great. You're doing great. I think we're both doing great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The humor doesn't shy away from embarrassing scenarios, and the series also features two particularly unforgettable characters, the Hormone Monsters. I am the Hormone Monstrous. Once you watch one episode, you will be itching for more, and more, and more. While it can be equal parts sweet and incredibly shocking, Big Mouth is ultimately a Netflix original that's empathetic to the pains of growing up. Okay, I think we're done here. Number 5. Mindhunter Are criminals born? Or are they formed? 
this Netflix series will mess with your head. Co-produced by Charlize Theron and David Fincher, who even directs a few episodes, Mindhunter reminds us that serial killer psychological profiling is still a fairly new practice. Like so many great Fincher flicks, these characters seem to understand the world around them, but there's something sinister lurking underneath for everybody. I knew a week before she died I was gonna kill her. Mindhunter is a binge-worthy series that focuses closely on what makes monsters in order to fully understand the larger implications. It's a show that will both scare you and, hopefully, educate you. These people spend the rest of their lives in horrendous conditions, which most likely reflect the environments in which they were raised. Maybe. And I, I'm sorry. Number 4. The Deuce The word is out on the deuce. Set in 1970s New York City, this HBO series is full of sex, drugs, and mafiosos. The Deuce also stars James Franco in dual roles, as his characters navigate the seedy underworld, pumping money into the economy. I'm older. Yeah, but 23 minutes! I'm still older. It was created by David Simon and George Pelicanos, two of the guys behind The Wire and Treme, and they bring that same energy and complexity to this grimy New York City series. The wardrobes and racy sex scenes provide loads of visual flair, while the performances are more subtle. Not only does it have nostalgic value, it also reveals the inner workings of a booming 70s industry. A lot of stars got their start this way. You'd be surprised, Hope. Number 3. Legion All I'm saying is, what if your problems aren't in your head? With its X-Men connection, this series received tons of hype before its premiere. Still, Legion flew under the radar once it dropped on FX, as it's more cerebral in tone than mainstream viewers might have anticipated. Yeah, I talk to myself sometimes, too. Well, not myself, the, the voices. With his lead performance as the confused David Holler, Dan Stevens brings a sense of quiet charisma necessary for the role. Plus, Legion creator and showrunner Noah Hawley is also the man behind Fargo, so he's more than current with modern viewer expectations. Overall, the show blends various genre tropes to offer something fresh and original for Marvel fans. Number 2. Big Little Lies you know how I feel about you driving with texters. It is worse than drinking and driving. Written by its creator, David E. Kelly, directed by Jean-Marc Vallée, and based on a novel by Leanne Moriarty, this Emmy Award-winning HBO miniseries shows what a strong team of women can do when they get together. Starring Hollywood A-listers like Reese Witherspoon, Nicole Kidman, Laura Dern, and Shailene Woodley, with some outstanding supporting work from Alexander Skarsgård, Big Little Lies is a murder mystery on its surface, but it's so much more than that at its core. A story about keeping up appearances, friendship, and abuse, this dark comedy was released at the perfect time, when women in Hollywood finally decided that enough was enough, and we couldn't get enough. Never forgive, never forget. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Betty and I come as a matching set. You want one, you take us both. I, I, I can't believe you, did, you didn't feel anything. I just can't believe there wasn't any warning. You get a few days less sink in, and then you're riding the cart on the way to do your dance on nothing. Number one, The Handmaid's Tale. Take some. I don't need oranges. I need to scream. Here it is, a dystopian fiction series eerily similar to the present day. Based on Margaret Atwood's 1985 novel, The Handmaid's Tale imagines a future American society in which women have lost their rights and become infertile except for a group known as the Handmaids. Would you like to take the long way? You're gonna get caught in the rain. I like the rain. Everything comes together in this Hulu original, from Elizabeth Moss's lead performance to the cinematography and extraordinary direction. With her work on The Handmaid's Tale, Reed Murano became the first woman to win an Emmy for directing a drama. And she did it with a series that set the tone for an unforgettable year in TV and pop culture. They should have never given us uniforms if they didn't want us to be an army. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.